Raiders have been threatening the LA since they were added into Minecraft. They capture them and hold them in their towers. But that ends today because I have changed the LA in Minecraft to be insanely OP. Just to prove how OP the LA really is, I'm going to survive 100 days in Minecraft against my two friends who have joined forces with the pillagers. On day one, I spawned in as a baby LA. Oh, look how cute I am. But here's the problem. I'm currently trapped inside a pillager tower. So first things first, I need to get out of this place. I can already see the two hunters' names outside. Right there and right there. Well, this is stupid. They, I can just break the door. Look at this. There's wood below the door. I can just break that. Okay, well, getting out of here is going to be a little easier than I thought. Okay, let's look. Oh. Uh, okay, you know what? I'm out of here. I'm going to use this chance to escape. All we have to do is get out of the tower. If I can get to the top, I can use my LA abilities to get out of here. You'll notice it says jumps three out of three. Ooh, oh, that was sneaky. I can actually double jump as an LA. Here we go. Let's go this way. Push for freedom. Okay, this has got to be a trap. What the heck is this? Oh my God, look at all the LA that are trapped. Oh God, the guardians are shooting at me. This is not part of a normal pillager tower. Oh, there's a gold one over there. I have to get to the gold one over there. Jump to this one. Oh no, 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 don't shoot me guardians. Please, please, please. I do not want to die already. Oh God, oh God, I'm out of jumps. Oh, I could be in trouble here. No, oh, oh, we're okay. Okay, let's go this way. There we go, we made it to the next one. Oh, this is hard. Okay, we made it again. Now we just have to do one more. Let's play it safe. Let's go to this one. Then to this one. We did it. Okay, where are we now? Oh, we're on top of the pillager tower. That's how we escape. Oh, that's so dumb. For the record, I let my friends build their own spawns, and they went a little crazy this time. But now's my chance to escape. Okay, they're right below me. Okay, wait, hold on. I got seven logs already. Let me just hit them down. Okay, let me quickly make some planks. We're gonna make a crafting table, and then we're gonna place it down. Then we're gonna make a boat. We gotta be really quick. They're coming up already. Okay, we got the boat. We don't have time to take the crafting table. Let's go. Use all our jumps. And we're in the water. Okay, let's go. Put down the boat. And we are out of here. We have gotten away from the pillager tower. Okay, I'm literally just a boat. I'm under the boat. Oh, God. I drown in boats. Okay, let's just go find a place to quickly make our base. Because we definitely need a base with how low our health is right now. Okay, this is a decent spot for a base. There's some good caves and stuff up here. So let's go to these. First, let's leave no evidence. Now let's eat a carrot and restore some health. And now let's head up to these caves. Oh, it's a water cave. You know, this actually may do. Because I have double jump. I may be able to set up a parkour to my base or something. That gives me an idea. I'm definitely going to make this my first base. We just need a little bit more wood. So let's quickly head over here and cut down a tree. This spot will do for the base. I made a little parkour leading from the cave over here that only I can complete because I have double jumps, which is going to keep my base insanely safe. Now we're just going to go ahead and cobblestone up the walls. But before I do that, I've got to tell you about all of my amazing LA abilities. You see, right now, I'm a tiny baby LA, but I can turn into a buff LA, which looks like this. Yeah, it's really broken, so we definitely got to unlock that. I also get cool combat abilities like Sonic Boom and utility abilities like item duplication. Like, that's how broken I get as an LA. But right now we're weak. So uh, after escaping the pillagers, I continued working on my LA base for the next couple of days until I was finally ready to start working on some upgrades. Okay, the base is complete. It's nothing special, but it's good enough to survive as an LA for now. We got our bed over here and all our basic survival stuff right here. But now that we have a base of operations, we can go ahead and start working on some upgrades. Now right now I'm a baby LA with only five hearts. So becoming a teen LA is definitely appealing. But I think I need something stronger first. So I'm gonna go for the first combat upgrade, which is called Groove Boost. It spawns in a note block that gives all surrounding LA resistance. So yeah, it's kind of broken. So if I activate it, you'll see to get it, I need to kill one player and get to level 10. And I'm currently level seven, so I still need three new levels of XP and I need to go kill one of the piglins. But before we go risk our life attacking the hunters, let's go ahead and get to level 10 real quick. There we go, level 10, done. For the rest of the day, I'm just gonna work on building an easier way to get back to my base. I realize that I don't wanna have to exit the cave every time I wanna come back to my base. It's annoying, so I'm gonna build a shortcut. Okay, it's day five, hello. To finish up this upgrade, we still need to kill one player. So I obviously have to go back to that pillager tower, and now that I have a little armor and a sword, I think I'm gonna be okay to do that. But before we go, there's something I gotta do. Let me quickly make some sticks, and we can make some more arrows. Now we have 51 arrows we can use with our crossbow. Now this is really gonna help in a sneak attack, and with that, we're ready to go. Okay, the tower's literally just below. They don't see me yet up here. I want to get in for a sneak attack, but they have one in the tower and one who's on the ground. I got to get the guy in the ground. I don't want them to see me, so let's get to the water as quick as we can here. Okay, we're in. Now let's just get behind this cage. Okay, I want to get this guy on the ground. I got the crossbow ready. Sneak up to the pumpkin. Sneak up to the tower. Okay, we can get this guy. We can get the guy right over here with the crossbow ready. He's moving over here. Oh, I tapped him in one hit! Here to leave. 
Well, he was a one hit kill. Oh my god. Oh, oh, pillagers. Oh, he's here. Coming, oh, coming. Oh, the other one. Go, go, go. Okay, we gotta go jump across, jump across. Use our three jumps to get across. Go, get out of here. Okay, we're okay for now. I didn't get any of the stuff he dropped. Okay, let's go. Are we good? Yeah, no way they can get to us. There's literally no way they can get to us. We did it. We're fine. We're good. Nice. Well, that was easy. We got the kill. Now we just have to head on home. Okay, and good morning. It is day six, and we can already do our first upgrade. So let's unlock Groove Boost and let's try it out. That's it. That's that's the song. But as long as that song's playing, I basically get resistance and apparently it destroys this block. However, that could be used to break into a base. Anyway, it's time to keep getting some upgrades. So obviously fighting right now is a little bit hard when I only have five HP and anyone can poke me with a stick and I'll die. So I think we need to become a Tina Lay so that way we have a little bit more health. And to get it, we need a lot of stuff. I'm talking note blocks, dyes, diamonds, you name it. And I figured the easiest part is the note blocks. Seeing as I only need 32, so it's really not that bad. It's a bunch of wood and red stone. Let's go gather up some more redstone. Oh, look, it's some of the warden blocks, but I'm not going to mess with this right now. I'll deal with this later because we still need 10 more redstone. And the best part is we even found a diamond. Now let's go back to the base and make some note blocks. Okay, if I take all this wood and put the redstone dust in the middle, we're going to get 32 note blocks, which is all we need for the upgrade. Now we just need 16 of a bunch of different dyes and eight diamonds, which we luckily already have one of. Here's two more. There's five. No way. Okay, I was not expecting to find the underground city that the warden spawns in. What the heck? It's literally day seven. Okay, I'm definitely exploring this. I only need three more diamonds and I'm going to see what I can get from here. I got to be very careful. The warden could kill me in like one shot. Okay, we just need to find a chest. Oh, it didn't make a sound. Okay, what if I open this? Oh, God. Okay, it didn't spawn one. Oh, that might. That might. Did I have Curse of Binding? Oh, God. I don't think I can take that off. Oh, God. Uh-oh, I Curse of Binding myself. Diamonds, that's exactly what I need. Okay, we literally need one more diamond. There we go. We got the eighth diamond we need. Now, let's keep going. Oh, this is spicy. Let's just go back where we came from over here and let's get out of here. Because we got all the diamonds we need, so let's just go back to the base. Okay, now we just need a bunch of dyes and we can complete this upgrade and get some more health. Specifically, we need 16 red, 16 green, and 16 blue dyes. None of which are that hard, so let's just go find the dyes. We've got some red flowers, which can give us some red dyes. Okay, that's all the poppies we need. Now we have 16 red dye. And luckily, there's also some corn flour here, which we can turn into blue dye. And there we go. Now we have 16 blue dye. And now, last but not least, we just need 16 green dye. But that's going to require us finding a desert. So let's get looking. Okay, finally, we found a desert. And oh my god, what a weird desert we found. This looks crazy. But I see some cactuses, so let's just go grab those real quick. And there we go. That is 16 total cactuses. Since we still got some time left in the day, let's quickly loot this village. And then we'll head home. Okay, and I'm home. Now, cactuses, you can't just put in your hotbar and get green dye. You actually have to smelt them. So let's quickly smelt them up. Okay, now let's let the cactuses smelt and get 16 green dye. And once that's done, we're gonna be able to do this upgrade. Okay, cool. All our dye is done. Let's grab our note blocks and our diamonds. And now we can become a teenage LA. Goodbye, cute baby LA. And hello, teen LA. Oh, I look pretty similar. I'm not as cute, but I'm definitely a little bit bigger. Wait, am I faster? Wait, I have jump one, speed one, and strength one. Oh, I really am broken, aren't I? Anyway, let's go to bed and keep working on some more upgrades tomorrow. Okay, currently I have the first evolution upgrade, teen LA. The first combat upgrade, groove boost. Now need the first utility upgrade keen sense which gives us a compass that allows us to find nearby ore double ores on all ores we mine it's actually that broken and to do it i just need nine compasses and five diamonds which sounds hard but it's not it's really not because a compass can be crafted with just four iron and one redstone 36 iron nine redstone so i got the redstone and i even have the iron i need already so the compasses are done now i just need five diamonds which once again shouldn't be crazy hard so let's just go look for some diamonds Oh my god, I learned that my LA jump also got even stronger. Look how far I can jump now. Look at that. Like, oh my god. Anyway, let's keep heading down and let's go find some diamonds. Okay, here's two diamonds. Oh, three diamonds. Dude, protection four diamond leggings, but I can't even wear them. I put on curse of binding. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. Yes. Oh, that's all we needed. Oh, it's a lot too. 10 diamonds. Let's go. That's definitely all we need. So let's go ahead and let's get out of here. Okay, now let's go and just quickly make the compasses. So let's grab all the iron we're gonna need. Let's melt up this iron in here. And now let's make all these compasses. 
Okay, there we go. We now have nine compasses, which is all we need for this upgrade. And we already have the five diamonds, meaning we've already unlocked it. That was one day. That was so fast. Okay, let's do it. And now we have a compass that will track ores for us. Let me show you how it works. So if I left click it, you're going to see I can change the ore. So you'll see if I'm down in this cave, I can find all the different ores just by simply right clicking on this compass. And, and because I'm awesome, I now double ores. Okay, we're kicking butt on these upgrades. So we might as well keep tanking along and get a lay ally. Now to actually get this one, we need to kill two players, kill 15 pillagers, and get to level 10, which we're already done with. So basically we need two player kills. What makes the Alay ally upgrade cool is it allows me to spawn a baby Alay that will fight for me. So I can have my own army of Alays. Okay, the hardest part of this upgrade is definitely the two player kills, but the pillager kills in the current level are super easy to do. So let's start by going to their pillager tower and seeing if we can kill some of their pillagers without them noticing. That way I can get all the kills without them seeing a thing. Okay, so I just got to the pillager tower and it's like blown to smithereens. And I don't even see any pillagers here. Oh, there's one pillager on the roof. Okay, I need to kill 15 of you. Is there anyone else in here? Oh, there we go. Oh, there's a bunch. Okay, that's five down. That's eight. Okay, I don't see any more spawning. So I got eight for now. We're gonna have to find another pillager tower because clearly this one's all blown up and they clearly left. I don't really know what happened, but I'm sure my editors will put it on screen now if it was interesting. All right, this TNT looks pretty good. We got one, two, three, four, five, nine. Six, seven, up. All right, look, I've set it off. I set it off. We gotta go. We gotta go. What? Ah! Anyway, let's go find another pillager tower. Oh, wait, there's one over there. Oh, I almost walked right past this one. Oh, let's go. Oh, and there's pillagers. Uh oh, there's a lot of them. Let's go this way. Oh, it's so many. Let's keep running around this doorway. Okay, we gotta run. Oh, run! Three HP! Okay, we gotta cross the river. We are safe for now. We only need to get two more pillager kills. Okay, let's go. Yes, that's 15. We're done. Okay, let's get out of here before I die. Now we just need to go ahead and find where the hunter's base is. I need to kill both of them to finish this upgrade. And clearly they left their old one. So let's go find it. I spent the next couple of days just looking around for the pillager's new base. I'm still not sure how they destroyed their own base, but it explains why they haven't attacked me yet. Oh, I found their base. I just bumped into it. I see his name. That is Unicorn Man. I can read it. Okay, it looks like they just built in the middle of the jungle. One of them looks like they're mining. I see a name deep underground. Oh, they have a pillager here. What? Do not give me away, dude. Oh, God, there's a lot of them. Oh, there's a lot of them. Oh, we gotta be careful. They have a bunch of pillagers here, too. I guess they can summon pillagers. Oh, God, they noticed. I think they noticed I went down here. Yeah. Just went into, into the mine shaft. Okay, I missed. I missed. Back off for a sec. Oh! Oh, yes, I got one. Okay, one's down. Let's reload all the crossbows. Nice, we got both kills. We're already done. Okay, let's just go back up. Let's go back up. Let's go back up. Oh, we're not going back up yet. Oh, we are slaying. Oh, we're low. We can eat. We can eat. We can eat. Okay, let's get in this wall over here. I got one of them trapped. Dead. Nice. Let's go. We got one of them. Go, 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 go. Okay, we're gone. Let's get out of here. We got all the kills we need. Let's go. We got out. We actually got out of that. Let's go. Oh, they're chasing it. Ready? And take off, baby. And that is how you do a sneak attack as an LA. Okay, let's unlock LA ally. All I gotta do is go here. And we've already completed all the quest things. So now we have a new ability. Now when things hit me, there's a chance an LA ally is gonna spawn. So let's quickly go take some damage. If I let these mobs hurt me, it should eventually spawn a teammate. There he is. Look, get him, teammate. And look, now we have a little best friend who's gonna fight for us. Get him. Yes, he won! But he can die and he does disappear after a few seconds. I gotta be really careful. Anyway, from here, we're gonna get Spectral Escape, which requires nine different potions and ten emeralds to get. So we're gonna need another portal if we wanna make some potions. So we're gonna need some obsidian. Now, I currently have five diamonds, so let's turn those into a diamond pickaxe. Now let's simply go ahead and mine some obsidian, shall we? Okay, we've got all the obsidian. Now let's go back to the base. Okay, now let's just go ahead and install our nether portal. Now let's grab our gravel. Let's get a piece of flint. There we go. Now let's combine that with an iron ingot so we can light up our nether portal. There we go. Now we have a way to the nether. So tomorrow we'll head to the nether and finish up these potions. Okay, before we actually go to the nether, we're gonna wanna finish up our iron armor. So currently we have three iron ingots left, which isn't even enough for a helmet or boots. I literally only need eight iron. Ooh, the iron's gonna have to wait. The hunters are literally outside. I literally see their names. Okay, they might be coming in. Hold on, where's my crossbows? Oh, they're definitely coming in. They're definitely coming in. You cover me, Wally. Build this bridge. Yeah, I'll, I'll shoot crossfire. Okay, he's gotta be almost dead. I'm gonna wait by my secret window here. They gotta back off. Okay, they're getting really close to the base. Okay, I spawned one. Get him! Get him, little LA. That's what I've been waiting for to happen. Get him, little LA. Get him! <laughs> Look, he's beating him up! Ah, why is there another LA attacking me? No, he killed him! Okay, I've definitely got him backed against the wall a little bit. I will burn this bridge. You are not getting across. 
Okay, one of them is definitely burning. Oh, I'm burning. Okay, we gotta back off. We're low. Okay, we got two lays on us. We got two lays. Okay, he's dealing with one of my lays. Oh! Oh, my floor is breaking under me. Oh god, the other one's getting in. We made it over here. We can do this. We're good. We're good. We're good. Back around. Oh, we're low. We're low. We're low. He's up top. <laughs> you. Ah, I'm dead. Uh, we got one. We got one. What's down? He's done. He's done. No, he's in the water. We can beat him here. Uh, I'm dead. Yes. Oh, he's done. We got him. Oh, dude. They probably took everything, though, I'm assuming. Oh, dude, everything of value's gone. Dang it, dude. They literally already took everything of value. All right, well, you know what? There's no way I can stay at this base. They already pretty much found it, and they can easily get back here now that they destroyed my parkour. You know what? Let's grab everything we can. Let's go make a new base, because I, I don't want to stay here anymore. After my base was found by the pillagers, I went ahead and moved to a brand new base. This time, I should be safe from any of the pillagers' attack. Okay, welcome to the new base. This time, I decided to build a base way up above the village we found earlier, and getting to the base is really easy. I'll show you. All I've to do is be in this village. We go to this staircase here and jump on top of this roof. Then we jump to this roof here and then we climb up the really long ladders. And now I can just jump to my base. And I'm here. So yeah, this is the brand new base. I think it's pretty nice. Anyway, now we can work on the spectral escape upgrade, which requires nine different potions and ten different emeralds. So let's make our way to the nether and get all the potion supplies we're gonna need. Okay, first things first, we gotta find ourselves a nether fortress to get ourselves not only some blaze rods, but some hold up. But to also get us some nether wards. Oh, we found one. Oh, we didn't have to go far at all for that. It was literally in the same biome that we started it. Okay, there's a blaze spawner over there. So let's start there and get some blaze rods real quick. Okay, let's start by killing some blazes. There we go, three blaze rods. That's all we need. Now let's go get some nether wards. Here we go, some nether wards. Perfect. Okay, now we have all the basic potion supplies. Now we're just gonna need a gas tier, as that's gonna help us get the regeneration potion. But the other items should come from the overworld. Okay, I spotted a gas. We can leap for him. Oh, we sniped him out of the sky and got the gas tier first try. Let's go. Okay, gas tier done. Now let's go back to the overworld. And we're back. So we're actually pretty much out of time for the day. Okay, so tomorrow we'll go ahead and hopefully get all the supplies we need for the fermented spider eye and the carrots. Okay, let's grab some sugar. Perfect. This one will literally do. Now we need to get fermented spider eye supply. So to make a fermented and it's spider eye. You need a regular spider eye, a brown mushroom, and some sugar. Now, the sugar we're already good on, but we're definitely gonna need the brown mushroom and definitely gonna need the spider eye to get the full fermented one. So, let's start by getting the brown mushroom. Perfect. We found the giant brown mushroom. Now, we just need to break this. There we go. Just like that, we got the brown mushrooms we need. Now, we just need to go ahead and find a spider and get a spider eye. Yes, we finally got a spider eye. Anyway, let's go and let's get out of here and let's make our way back to the base. Okay, we're back with a bunch of the ingredients and now all we need left is a golden carrot. But all we have is one singular carrot, which uh, if we use that, we're out of carrots. So we'll go look for a village tomorrow, pick up some more carrots and then turn those into the golden carrots. Okay, the village I'm in doesn't seem to have carrots. It just seems to have wheat and nothing else. We gotta go find a different one. Okay, we found another village next to the jungle and this one is definitely bound to have carrots. Oh yeah, it definitely does. Everything we could ever need. Now let's just grab some hay. Okay, let's also grab some of this hay while we're here because I'm never going to turn down free bread. The more bread we can get, the better. Oh, hunters are here. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I want to collect all my hay. We got it all. Wait, is that a... Oh my God, a bunch of red alays. Check out this village here. Hey, there, that. there's that alay. Oh, you found them? Let's show them our cooler alays. What is that? Okay, it looks like the hunters also have upgrades and they can summon alays. Oh, they explode when they die. We definitely want to get these guys with a bow. Okay, my blue LA versus the red LA. Get them. Okay, they're killing my LA allies. Oh, no, they're coming for me. Hold on. What if we take them out instead? Back off. Go this way. Now, luckily, we're very fast. They're not. The other one's coming. Oh, my LA ally just got blown up, and I almost got blown up, too. We got to be very careful here. Okay, let's go in. Oh, go this way. See, luckily, we can dash around really quick. Do I have an axe on me? I don't. Get him, blue LA. Get him. Wait, I can bait him into their own explosion. Ready? Nice! Oh, I can't! I can't hurt them with their own thing. Oh, he's done. Oh, I'm dead. He's done! Yes, we got one! Get him away! Get him away! Yes! Ah! He's got a lace! No! Oh, we beat him, dude! Yes, thank you, 
you, my LA friends. We have won because of you. Dude, their red LA do not stand a chance against the regular blue LA. Anyway, we have everything we need. Let's start making our way back to the base. Okay, so to finish off the spectral escape upgrade, we still need 10 emeralds on top of all the potions we have. Now, luckily, we can easily smelt up raw golds. We'll put four in this one. Now, we'll take one of these gold ingots and turn it into gold nuggets. And now, we'll go ahead and make a golden carrot with the gold nuggets, which gives us the ability to now make the potions. So, let's take the remaining glass we have and let's go ahead and put it in the crafting table and make ourselves nine glass bottles. Now, let's fill them up with water real quick. And now, let's put them inside the brewing stand. The first step is to turn all of them into awkward potions. There we go. Awkward potions done. Now we need to turn them into specialty potions. So for the speed potions, we're going to throw the three water bottles in. So let's grab one sugar and let's throw it in. There we go. Three potions of swiftness complete. Now let's throw in three more awkward potions. For the next one, we're going to go in and put the gas tier in. And now those are done as well. Let's put all these in this chest right here. Now to do the last ones, it's a little bit more complex. Yes, we need the fermented spider eye, but there's actually a step before that. And that's where the golden carrot comes in. You see, if I first put the three water bottles in and then put the golden carrot in, we're actually going to get a night vision potion. But if we add a fermented spider eye, it becomes an invisibility potion. Now we'll add the fermented spider eye. And there we go. Three potions of invisibility. And to finish off this upgrade, we still need 10 emeralds. So even though the potions are done, we still have one more step to go. Okay, it's day 30. Let's go get some emeralds. Luckily, with our keen sense compass, it's actually quite easy. First things first, we just gotta go find a mountain biome. Okay, I found a kind of mountain biome. It's called snowy slopes or stony peaks. But I think this is a type of mountain biome. Oh, no, there's definitely emeralds here. Okay. Oh, my God, this is it. There's literally one that's 40 blocks below. Let's go get it. And there it is. Look, it gave me the coordinates and here's the emerald. And now I get two emeralds all because of my keen sense compass. This is going to be really easy. No way. There was another one there. What? And there we go. More emeralds. Oh my God. It was right below me. No way, dude. This compass is OP. There we go. We got all the emeralds we need. Now let's just head back to the base and we're home. So let's go ahead and grab all the potions. And now with all the potions and the emeralds, I should be able to unlock spectral escape, which basically allows me to turn invisible and heal if I ever get myself in a pinch. Watch. So now I have a ton of speed and I'm getting regeneration to quickly get myself out of any tough situation. See, I'd say this upgrade's pretty good. Now from here, we're going to work on getting another combat upgrade because I need something that can truly just mess up the hunters, you know? And disorienting scream is going to be exactly how we do that. Okay, so to get the scream upgrade, I need to kill ghasts and players as I already have all the XP I need. Okay, so now all we got to do is find ourselves some ghasts and kill them and we'll deal with the player kills after. <laughs> We go first gas down there we go that was the last gas we needed to kill 15 for 15 done now we just need to go back and get six player kills okay it is day 32 and we need six player kills to wrap up this upgrade so let's make our way back to the pillagers base and let's take them out okay the pillagers base is literally just right there i don't see any other nameplates so they might be out right now i literally don't see them i don't think they're here right now wait did they move this isn't repaired at all i think they up and left besides up here the base looks abandoned all their chests and stuff are just empty everything's gone they, they literally up and took everything and left which means they probably got a new base simply because i knew where this one was so i'll see what i can take from it though like look there's some free beds there's a barrel and one of their chests even had a bunch of food which i'll gladly take anyway we gotta go find their actual base now so let's get looking and so i spent the next couple of days looking for the hunter's new base i'm assuming they must have moved closer because their old base was pretty far away Ooh, is that it i think i may have found their base Hold up they just found their base I'm like 90 percent sure that's their base don't see any nameplates oh no there's a pillager outside that's definitely their base oh yeah another po oh, i just saw a door open oh did he see me look at him up there oh they're both there yeah that's definitely their base now we'll go. One, two, three. Oh! oh, God, there's so many pillagers. It isn't where I went. Oh, fly this way. Okay, from up here, I might be able to even get on their base. Ready? And one, two, three. We're in. Oh, I went over. Ooh, ooh. Quickly get over here, get my jumps back. Okay, we made it over here. Let's go. Ooh, run. <laughs> nice. We're in the base. Our base is up top. Okay, I filled in the roof. Oh, there's three of them in here. Gotta go. He doesn't know where I went. Yes. Eat some food real quick. Ah! Okay, we still don't even have a single player kill. Oh, go over here to the hill. We gotta get some kills here. One, two, three. Oh, we're beating him up. Done. 
Oh, we're getting low. Okay, I'm in their base. Oh, that's two crits. He's done. Ah, that's come on. He's done. He's done. We got win. We got first kill. We got first kill. Okay, we're over here now. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, that was great. Oh, we sniped him. Nicely done. We got him good. That's two kills. This is where we get our third one. Oh, how many arrows do I have? I'm going to be running low. I can't get unicorn man. Oh, we're at three hearts. Come on, be careful. We can't die here. We can get him. Oh, we got him. We got three. We got three. Let's get this guy. Come on. Oh, we're low. Okay, hold up. Let's get out of here. We're getting low. We're almost dead. Oh, go. Okay, the sun's starting to set anyway, but I basically found this tiny little hole that I'm going to bury myself in for the night. And then tomorrow, with full HP and now five arrows, we're going to go back and we're going to hopefully get the remaining three kills we need. Okay, it's morning. Let's go back to their base and let's get three more kills. Now, I'm assuming the hunters believe I'm gone, right? I got all the kills I needed and I left. They don't know I need six kills. So let's just go back and get a sneak attack kill and two more. And we should be able to win this fight. Okay, their base is literally right there. Go around that corner. Nice, he's around the corner. There's one in here. I don't see the other one please tell me he didn't hear the door i don't know if he heard the door Enemy spotted. oh he heard the door oh he heard the door all right he heard the door all right oh my gosh he's here get him a lay ally ah, what? oh yes that's already one we got the sneak attack i don't even know where the other one is oh this stupid alay is taking the hits i can't hit him oh we're on low hp we're on low hp again okay we're on top of their base again Woo, he missed. I'm out of arrows now, though. I still need two kills. They're sticking together. Luckily, I think I can get one here. Okay, luckily their spikes don't hurt me. We got him. Come on. He's got to be done. He's done. We need one more kill. They're trying to shoot them near me. Oh, we got him. We have him. Three crits in a row. Yes, my Alayali killed him. Wait, no, it doesn't count if they kill him. I have to kill him. Okay, I still need one more kill. Oh, he's got to be low. No. Oh, we got him. Hit six. We're low on HP. We're getting out of here. We're gone. Oh, we're so gone. That time for realsies. We're gone. Day 37. Let's unlock disorientating scream. Now that we have that, we can do this. And if you hear that noise, well, that means you're going to go blind, have nausea, and be slow for seven seconds. So, yeah, uh, don't be near me when I'm screaming, I guess. But with that complete, we only have two more upgrades in each category. We have the adult delay, the buffalo, possession, sonic boom, synthasia, and haunting song. But I'm not going to lie. It's been a while since we did a health upgrade. So let's go ahead and become the adult delay. Wait, wait a minute. No, I thought there was two left in each. We didn't even do item duplication. So let's do that first. Then there's two left in each. Now, to get item duplication, we need three blocks of emerald three blocks of diamond and three blocks of gold we also need a god apple yeah you know i'm just gonna do all the boring mining stuff now so let's go get the golden diamonds first because they're probably gonna be the easiest especially with our keen sense compass okay great we have all the diamonds we need and the gold we need in fact we even have a little extra and even better news my curse of binding leggings are finally gonna break and i can upgrade my armor yay but anyway we still need to go ahead and get all the emeralds for the emerald blocks and luckily with the keen sense compass it's not gonna be that hard we just gotta go back to the mountain biome okay here we are let's go ahead and check for some emeralds real quick and as you can see there's emeralds in the area so let's get mining okay let's start by turning all of our different ores into blocks now three diamond blocks and three emerald blocks and the last thing we need is a god apple now god apples have the highest frequency to spawn inside of desert temples so because i think i saw one earlier nearby we're gonna check that one out first and if it doesn't have one we're gonna go look for some more temples no way it's a platypus look at it all right well the temple is literally just right over here from this little beaver friend literally see here it is i didn't go in here yet but let's hope it has a god apple if it does that'll be great no, it had a regular golden apple, but not a god apple. No. Dang, dude. I was really hoping this would have one. Well, it turns out that this place is a total dud. Let's go find a different one. On days 40 and 41, I kept looking for desert temples, but I still couldn't find any. Wait, is that? Oh my god, there's a desert temple in this village. Look, what? It's literally part of the village. Please have a god apple. Please have a god apple. Oh, it does. Let's go. Oh my god, we have the god apple done. What about any of the others? Oh, another golden apple. Okay, let's grab the TNT because this temple's far away so we can bring this back to the base and then we can on the way back grab the other TNT from the other place because I currently honestly hate the tower that the hunters have and I could use that TNT to blow it up. Okay, well that worked. We have the God Apple. Let's go back to the base. Okay, and we're finally back home. That took forever. Wait. 
<gasps> no! There's a bridge leading to my base. There's literally a bridge leading to my base right now. Oh, God. Why were they at my base? No, dude. They took all my ore block. They took my diamond pants. I don't see any of my diamonds or emeralds. Okay, well, my base has been robbed, and I need those blocks if I want to get the item duplication upgrade. So I guess I'm going to their base real quick to murder them and get my stuff back. Their base is literally just on the other side of this forest. There it is. It's literally right there. Okay, we're going to go in quick. If I open the door, they're going to know. Go. I don't see a chest. Let's hide. We're going to hide under their stairs. We'll even make a little bow sound. Ready? What? They're not reacting at all. Oh, no. One is. One is. Oh, they're reacting. They're reacting. Oop. He definitely heard that. That arrow flew right past him, dude. Oh, they're coming. They're coming. They're coming. Hide out. Yes. Whoop. Go, 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 go. Is this it? No, wait. This is emeralds. Oh, oh. Whoop. Let's go inside. They can't go through that. They don't fit. I got all my stuff. Let's go. Oh, my stuff. I think 32 emeralds, 29. Where's gold? I got the gold. Yeah, I got gold, emeralds, and diamonds. That's all the blocks. I think they literally took my stuff and put it in a singular chest. Okay, we are home. Let's go in first, remove this dumb bridge from our base because it totally defeats the purpose of having a safe base. Okay, bridge gone. Now we definitely got to go ahead and turn the ores back into blocks. And now we have all the blocks we need. If we go to the item duplication upgrade, we just need to grab our god apple, which is in this chest right here. And now we can get the upgrade item duplication, which you'll see every minute if I hold an item in my offhand, I have a chance to duplicate that item. Now, normally I carry a shield in my offhand. I don't want to duplicate a shield. So let's try it with a gold block. Let's put a gold block in my offhand and see if I start to duplicate that gold block. And as you can see, I now have three blocks of gold. Is that triple? Yup. But hey, it was supposed to be double. I'll take the extra block. Oh, now I have five. Now I have five. I should get 10, right? Okay, you're gonna see now I have seven blocks of gold. That's not 10, but that actually turns out it's because uh, translation errors with her, with our programmers, I think. It's working somewhat. It's giving us free stuff. Oh yeah, there we go. See, look, now we have nine. But yeah, we have a really easy way to get stuff now with our item duplication ability. But the good news is now we actually have two more upgrades in each category. Now we're gonna go ahead and start by becoming an adult LA because I only have 10 hearts. And if I become an adult LA, I don't only get 15 hearts, but I also get the ability to glide like I have Elytra, which is a little bit better than the jumps I currently have. So let's go ahead, let's unlock that. We're going to become the adult delay, which requires 128 soul sand, 64 soul lanterns, three soul campfires, and a wither skull. Now we're going to start with the soul sand because it's the easiest, and we're actually going to grab 200 of it because the soul lanterns and the soul campfire also take soul sand. We're going to need a lot. Okay, now let's go ahead, let's head to the nether and grab all the soul sand we're going to need. Okay, we got all the soul sand we need. So now let's make our way over to another fortress and start killing some wither skeletons so we can get a wither skull. Oh God. Okay, we got the skull. And with that, we can start heading back to the base so we can start putting all the items together. Okay, with the wither skull in hand, all we need to do is actually get some iron because to do this upgrade, we need to make soul lantern, which is gonna require 64 iron ingots for the amount it wants. I don't even think we have any iron. I think we're literally out. So let's quickly go mining, grab ourselves a stack of iron, and then we'll finish the upgrade tomorrow. Okay, there we go. We got all the iron we need. So let's go back and smelt it. And tomorrow we'll finish crafting all this stuff. Let's throw all our raw iron inside our blast furnaces. Okay, all the iron smelting. Now we're just gonna go to bed. Okay, so let's go and let's start by turning all of our iron ingots into golden nuggets. Now that's gonna be really important for crafting. Let's grab some coal out of here and let's grab some sticks. So if I put all my soul sand, my sticks, and my coal together, you're gonna see I get soul torches. And now we can make soul lanterns. So soul lanterns are made like this. And now we have 64 soul lanterns completely done. So now if we look at the upgrade, we have the soul lantern's done the oh wait hunters are here they're trying to get over hold up hunters are here okay i built a little bit of a wall just to give myself some cover here okay hold up let's get down here okay we need to finish crafting this upgrade let's grab all the soul sand we're gonna need three soul campfires is all we need give me a minute yeah nice try buddy okay i need to make these soul campfires i need logs soul sand and sticks hold on let's grab this let's grab our crafting table give me a minute I hit him off. I hit him off. I hit him off. He's done. Oh, back up. Let's stay back here for a sec. Come on. We almost got him. We got him. We got him. Oh, the other one's back though. Okay. We're going to hurry up and make this soul campfire. Okay. We need to make these soul campfires and we need three. We need sticks and logs. Okay. We're good. Okay. There they are. We got the logs. Go back out here. I definitely saw one more climbing. Just make a bunch of sticks. Boom. We have three. Please let me do the upgrade. We can become an adult LA. Okay. We're an adult LA. Oh, my items. He's already here. I can get him off here. He's done. He's done. 
He's done. Yes. Okay, so my base is destroyed. Yeah, my bed survived, but nothing else really survived this place. This base is toast. So we'll pack up our stuff, grab everything we can grab. Most of it's down there. And we'll go from there. After my base was destroyed by the pillagers, I had to move yet again and design a brand new base. This time, I made a base that I called the Alay Vault. A base that is so safe, the hunters will have no way to get inside. Oh, and also, my Curse of Binding Pants finally broke, meaning I'm free from that awful armor. Okay, welcome to our brand new base. So it's very similar to the last one, except I didn't just build one little base island. <laughs> I built four. We have the one that brings us to the nether, all the furnaces and stuff over there, the enchanting over there, as well as a vault on top, and then just our normal chests and stuff over here. And the only way to get here is from that long tower right there. So yeah, overall, I'd say this is a pretty good spot to be. Anyway, from here, we still need to go ahead and keep moving forward on upgrades. Now, I'm going to start by getting Synthesia, which is going to allow me to see enemies through walls. I'm basically an x-ray hacker, but I'm not really cheating. To get it, we need 64 glowstone dust, 32 spectral arrows, 16 note blocks, and one music disc. So let's start by jumping into the nether and getting the glowstone dust. Well, there's some glowstone right there, so let's go grab that. There we go, we already got all the glowstone dust we need. So now we're gonna start looking for a bastion so we can get spectral arrows. Okay, perfect, here's a bastion. Okay, we're looking for gold blocks. Now I don't see any in this area, and I'm also looking for chests, anything that could contain gold blocks. Okay, nice, we're inside, we already found a chest. Now it doesn't have any gold blocks, but that's okay. It has tons of spectral arrows, which is exactly what we needed. Now in total, we need 32, and this one contained 12. Okay, this is the chest we already loot. No, wait, no, it's not. Yes, see, we even got even more spectral arrows. Good thing I checked that. We even got an ancient debris. Dude, yes, we got arrows and spectral is that gonna be 32? 36. How many do we need? I think we need 32. We do. We literally got all the spectral arrows from the chest. Okay, well, we got all the spectral arrows we need, so we can go ahead and get out of here now. So let's go ahead, let's leave the nether, let's head back to the portal, and then back to our base. Okay, we're back at the base, and we're gonna use this bottom chest to store all of the stuff we need for our current upgrade. The only thing we need left is to make 16 note blocks. So to make a note block, I believe it's just redstone and wood, if I remember correctly. Yep, it is. There we go. Now we have 16 note blocks made. So let's grab our note blocks, the music disc, all the spectral arrows, and all the glowstone dust. On day 56, we're finally done with Synthesia. And now we have the ability. Let's try it. Oh, well, that made a weird sound. What does it actually do again? Oh, yeah, it sends out a sonar signal, and I can see people through walls. Too bad I'm alone, and I have no friends, and I'm alone at this base, so I can't see anyone. Okay, with Synthesia now done, it is time to start working on the next combat upgrade. And the next combat upgrade is called Possession. We need eight player kills, three evoker kills, and we need to be level 20, which, uh, done. Now, here's the thing. We're gonna go for the evoker kills first, and we need to kill three of them, and they can only be found at Woodland Mansion. So, we're going to a Woodland Mansion, and to do that, we're gonna need a bunch of different stuff. We're gonna need 128 glass glass panes, 128 paper, two compasses, and 20 emeralds to go ahead and get the map to the mansion. So first things first, we're gonna need some more sand. So let's get work. Let's start by gathering all this sand over here at this place. Okay, there we go. That's all the sand we need. And while we're out, let's also go grab a bunch of different sugar canes so we can make some paper. Okay, now we got all the sugar cane we need. So now besides that, we already have the materials to make the compass and we have the emeralds. So now we can just go back to the base and put all our stuff together to trade for the map. Okay, it's day 58. Let's grab all our sand and let's head to a village so we can do some trades and get ourselves a map to the Woodland Mansion. Okay, here's a villager right here. Let's go and let's give this man a cartography table. There you go. Become a cartographer. First things first, we're gonna hand over our paper and get as many levels as we can for this guy. He's upgraded. Now that he's upgraded, he's gonna get some more stuff. We'll trade him all the glass panes we gotta trade him and you'll see he's filled up again. And now he's level three because you'll see the gold badge. And now you're going to see he has a woodland explorer map, which we can trade for just one compass and some emeralds. So now we have the woodland explorer map and we're all set to go. And you're going to see us as the tiny little dot in the corner of the map. I have to head northwest just to find the woodland mansion. So because I know this part can take a while, let's get going. After getting the map, I followed it for a couple days till I finally reached the woodland mansion. Oh, we're getting really close to the woodland mansion. The map's starting to form. Oh, wait, wait no, it's, li it's literally right there. We just got to kill three evokers inside this bad boy and we'll be able to finish this part of it. Oh, there's definitely one in here. I hear him. Die. Ow. Okay, one's down. We killed one. Oh, I found one. We got an evoker. This is literally one right here. Oh, you're done. There was a third evoker. We are done at this woodland mansion because we officially have killed the evoker. Meaning now we just gotta go kill eight players. Okay, we're back at the base. It is day 62 and we literally just have to get the final eight player kills and we'll be able to finish up this upgrade. So let's quickly grab plenty of food. Let's go enchant our armor and our sword and then let's go for the attack. Okay, so with my gear now enchanted, I went in and put in a totem of undying in my office 
offhand. Basically, I'm invincible because if they can't kill me within a minute, my totems are going to keep duplicating me. Now, I'm going to have like infinite totems of undying. Oh, this is going to be broken. Okay, we're at their base. Their base is literally just up ahead right there. Okay, let's work to get to their base. It looks like they've upgraded a little bit with lava and stuff around. Oh, there's one over there. Hold on. Okay, I went in the base. Oh, they definitely heard me. What is that? I can't move. Okay, well, apparently they have alarms at their base that give away when I'm there and they seem to lock me in. Wait, what's below me? Oh my God, it's a Ravenger. I do not want to fight a Ravenger. Okay, Ravenger's dead. I got him trapped inside. Let's go. I'm so tiny, he can't hit me. Yes, we got one. That's one of eight down. Oh my God, is that an evoker? Oh my God, they have an evoker here. Nice, we'll be able to get him here. Nice, he's gone. Oh, I can actually use their Vex to blow up their own base. Look at that, I destroyed their own base. Oh, this is funny. Oh, his shield's broken. He's done. We got three without even a death yet. Nice, he's done. That's four. We're halfway there. Nice, that's five. Let's go. Nice. Oh, we used the LA to kill him. Ah, I'm dead. Okay, let's use some of our other abilities. He should be blind now. I used my blind ability. Yeah, baby, he's blind. He's blind. We got him again, dude. This blind is... Let's go! Yes, we're... Dude, we are destroying them. Let's get out of here. Come on. I literally can't do anything. We got everything we need to do the upgrade, so let's just go home, sleep, and do the upgrade in the morning. Okay, good morning. Let's do the upgrade. We have all player kills, all evoker kills, and our level's 20. So let's go to combat, and let's unlock possession. So now I can possess entities and disguise myself as them. I definitely got to try this ability out first before we go ahead and continue working. Okay, so as an example, let's try possession out on this kangaroo. If I hit my key on it, you're going to see I'm now disguised as the kangaroo. So I can possess it, and I can move it into place, and now I am the kangaroo. So yeah, the ability is kind of cool. But we still got a bunch of abilities to go. Let me show you. We still have the Buffalo upgrade, the Sonic Boom upgrade, and the Haunting Song upgrade. All of which seem to require stuff from the end. So that's where we're gonna go next. So to do that, obviously we need Blaze Rods and Ender Pearls. So we're going to the Nether. There we go. Okay, we get the first of eight Blaze Rods we need. Okay, we got all eight blaze rods. Now we just gotta go trade with some piglins to get ourselves some ender pearls. Okay, I found a bastion right up here. Oh, this one has a lot of gold. Okay, let's buy all these gold blocks real quick. Nice, we found a chest room. Let's see what we get in here. Two gold blocks and a bunch of arrows. Another gold blocks, more arrows, a diamond pickaxe. Okay, that should definitely be more than enough gold blocks. Let's go trade these with some piglins. And the goal of this is to get at least 16 ender pearls once the trades are done. So we'll go ahead and wait here a sec till they finish up because uh, this is gonna take a little while. Okay, I'd say the piglins have traded a lot. This is what my screen looks like right now. 18. Actually, that's a lot. So with that, let's go back to our base and start making our way to the end. Okay, good morning on day 65. Let's make our eyes a vendor. Let's throw the first eye and let's go find ourselves a dragon. Looks like we're going that way. Okay, we made it to the top of the mountain. Let's give it a throw. Oh, wait, wait, it's going backwards. Oh, it's literally on this mountain. Let's just start digging down and see if we can find this thing. We found it. We literally found it right here. We need to find the portal room. That's all we got to find. We found it. Oh! We're going to the end. And we got 25 totems of undying. So this should be really easy to beat the dragon. Let's go. We made it. This is a weird one, but this should be fine. Let's go over here. Let's start taking out the towers. Nice. First tower down. All of the towers are taken out, meaning now we can kill the dragon. Okay, let's take him out. We killed him. Yes, the dragon is dead. Okay, let's grab his dragon egg real quick. There we go. And we have the egg. Wait, are the hunters here? Wait, what? Oh my God, free the end. They are here. Okay, well, I don't even have to fight them if I don't want to. I don't even want to fight them. We got the dragon egg. Let's just go to the outer end. I got to hit this. I got to hit this. Yes, I got it. Outer end. Oh, we hit that under pearl clutch. Yes. They're going to be right behind me in a second. I'm sure of it. So we got to be pretty quick. We are literally out of blocks. Let's go grab some more end stone. Enemy spotted. Oh no, we're not grabbing any more end stone. They're literally right there. I got an idea. Ready? One, two. Oh my God, there's another island over here. Let's quickly grab a bunch of blocks and use these to escape. Okay, this should be enough to make it. Ready? If we jump, shift. Yes, we're going to make it. Look, they're trying to get over, but I'm gone, baby. Let's go. Well, I'm going to use this chance to get away as far as I can while they have to build over. Let's just go ahead and find an end city. Because if I just keep going this way, we should be able to lose them. After ditching the pillagers in the outer end, I made my way from end city to end city till I found some elytra. I also was able to get all the shulker shells I needed from all the different end cities I found. Oh, we got a ship. This should be super easy to get as an LA. Okay, cool. We should be able to make it to the ship. Wait a minute. Oh, dude, the hunters are here. Okay, if I'm quick enough, it shouldn't matter. Okay, we got a mending prot for helmet. We don't need anything else. Let's grab this. He doesn't know behind him. Oh, they're both here. I got 27 totems. Bring it on. Oh, we killed one. Oh, never mind. I'm dead. Cool. Oh, 
Oh, yes! Wow. We've got the elytra. The hunters are down, meaning we can simply just go back to our base. And we're home. It's currently day 71. I'd say I'm a little broken when it comes to totems of undying. Look how many totems I have. So yeah, I don't think I'm losing this challenge at this point. And I'm not even my fully upgraded buffalo yet. I still need four netherite ingots to get there. Which, speaking of, is exactly what we're going to do today. We need to get ourselves some netherite so we can finish off this upgrade seeing it's the last thing we need. Now, currently, we have four ancient debris, which is enough for one ingot. So we actually need 12 more ancient debris. And luckily, with the keen sense compass, we'll be able to double every ancient debris we find and be able to find it in seconds. So we really need just six. And we're done. So let's go. Okay, let's go through the portal. We got all the ancient debris we need. Okay, so let's go back over here. Let's grab our other four ancient debris that we had inside this chest here. Now let's go ahead. Let's throw them in here. We're gonna let those smelt while we go to sleep. Let's go grab our ancient debris. Now let's go over here and grab some gold. And now let's combine all our gold ingots with all of our netherite scraps to give ourselves four netherite ingots, which is enough to become the buff allay. This is the regular adult allay that you see in Minecraft. And this is the buff allay. That's right. We made the buff allay in this game and he is broken. He can literally fly. Look at this. I, I don't even need to double jump anymore. Now, I don't fit through one high gaps anymore, but who cares? I'm a giant flying allay. This is amazing. We still got two more upgrades to go. A combat upgrade and a utility upgrade. Now, the utility upgrade is going to require 16 jukeboxes and 16 gas tiers. So, I've been pretty unlucky with the gas tier doubling, and we only have five. Every minute, there's a 25% chance I get another one, but it's been a very slow process. Let's go to the nether, and let's go get ourselves some more gas tiers, because we only have five at the minute. <laughs> There we go. We have all 16 gas tiers. We can now head home and get the rest of the supplies we need. So to finish off the upgrade, we're just going to need some juke boxes. There we go. Put the diamonds in the middle. And now we have 16 juke boxes, which means we can do the final utility upgrade, Haunting Song. And Haunting Song is literally going to allow me to walk through walls as an allay, so long as there's a juke box playing nearby. Let me show you. You're going to see I can start phasing through blocks. Look at that. So thick walls that like this obsidian, I can't get through. But single walls, easy. Okay, we've only got one more upgrade to go as a buffalo. And the last upgrade is called Sonic Boom. Now, to get Sonic Boom, I need to kill the piglins 10 different times. And I need to kill the wither once and be level 30. So let's start by killing the wither. Let's go into the nether and get a bunch of wither skulls. <laughs> Okay, and we are back from the nether. Now, it's already night, so we're gonna go ahead and go to sleep, and tomorrow, we'll actually fight this wither. Okay, and good morning. Okay, so now we just have to go ahead and fight and kill the wither, which shouldn't be too hard since I can literally fly. Let's spawn the wither right here, and now let's just kill him. Yep. That was really easy. Hey, let's go grab the nether star. So I don't know where it is, but luckily I don't, I guess I don't really need it. I killed the wither and the quest is complete. So now we just have to worry about getting 10 player kills, which means now we're going to go ahead and look for the piglins base and have a little bit of fun. And so I started looking for the pillagers. It turns out they had changed bases once again. And this time they must have moved extremely far because even with my ability to fly, I still couldn't find them. That is until day 81. I have like a woodland mansion. <gasps> Yo, I see nameplates inside. The hunters are raiding this woodland mansion right now. I think this is their base. I don't even think they see me. I, I don't know how, but I don't think they see me. Oh, no, maybe they do. Oh, no, he's running. He definitely sees me. I don't fit through their door, but luckily I can fly, and I fit through that. Yeah, like, like, oh! Oh, my God. Oh, he's bigger. Oh, God. I just, I'm just here for 10 kills. Leave me alone. Luckily, I can fly now, so this becomes a lot easier, but they do have a lot of arrows. Oh, my goodness. He doesn't have a shield. I'm gonna go for the one without a shield. I'm gonna get rid of his totem. His totem broke. Nice, we got one. We got our first kill. Oh, he's almost done. We almost got a second kill here. He's got to be low. Yes, second kill done. He's done. That's three kills. Oh, four kills. Ready for this? Watch. We're going to go down here. Then watch. We'll become the skeleton. Okay, they should lose me here because now I look like a skeleton. Let's even walk out to them. The spiders attack him. Oh, I get, do I get to attack him? I can't. I don't think I can. Okay, they left me alone. Pop out. And. Oh, yes. He thought it was a skeleton. Oh, they're both here though. Yes. He should be blind. I just used my blindness ability on him. My health is dropping. We have to eat. Get nice. We got another kill. Oh, I'm blind. I'm blind. I can't see. Bye, LA. Oh, my. No. He's got to be low. He's got to be low. We're having a battle. <laughs> He's running. He's got to be low. Yes. Eight. Two more kills to go. <laughs> nice. We got him. The other one's here. This is our 10th kill if we can get this guy. Ready? Let's blind him. Oh, you're blind. Oh, I'm low. I'm low. I'm low. Yes. 10 out of 10 in your face, sucker. Hit me. Do it. Watch it out. Oh, that's right. I got a totem of undying. You can't kill me. See you later. I got 24 more. We got the 10 kills we need. Let's get out of here and do the final upgrade. Okay, and with that fight officially over, it's time to do the last upgrade. So our last ability is Sonic Boom, where I shoot a sonic ring that explodes with the force of nine TNTs. And now we've unlocked it. We got to try this out, though. So let's go over here to the mangrove biome. So it says if I hit this button here... 
Oh my god. I, I didn't realize there was gonna be like an instantaneous explosion. Anyway, our new power is really broken. So with all our powers in play, I honestly don't think the pillagers stand a chance. I, I just, I don't. So I'm gonna give them an ultimatum. You see this pillager banner right here? I'm gonna take it from this tower. Now I'm gonna take this banner all the way up to my base. And now that we're here, we're gonna actually finally get to use our vault room. With music playing, I can now walk through walls. It's a little buggy, but I can get into this vault room right here, which once we add a little obsidian to is gonna be protected. So if I put the banner right here and we fill this bottom layer in with obsidian, we can officially issue a challenge to the pillagers. Basically, capture the banner and I'll let you in. But they get to capture this banner by day 85. Let's see what they say. Hey, pillager one and his NPC lackey, I hit a pillager banner at my base. And if you can get it by the start of day 85, I'll let you win this challenge. Here's my base cords. Okay, now I'm gonna give him my coordinates. Dude, the NPC lackey said he was pillager number one. That's funny. Okay, I gave him the coordinates. They're accepting the challenge. Now we just gotta see how things go from here. Okay, I'm currently disguised as a pillager and I just saw the hunters go by. They didn't notice me because I was in pillager form, but I definitely caught them. Let's right off the bat, let's just kind of, uh, I'm literally controlling Luke. They're trying to hurt me, but I'm inside of Luke. I'm literally controlling the hunter. Look at this. Okay, let's try this now. Ooh, didn't like that one, did ya? Let's see how they do, since I can just fly around and mess with them for a bit. Okay, where'd the other one go? Oh, one's already climbing up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, I destroyed the ladders, I destroyed the ladders. <laughs> You're not getting up that easy, buddy. Oh, they're trying really hard to get up. Oh, the sun's already setting. Oh, I'm already out of arrows, oh no. I used the Mala. Welcome to the base, you made it. Now I'm inside of you. Let's go ahead and let's just have you jump off real quick. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. He's putting water down too everywhere. Oh, they can swim up now. That was genius. Okay. I'm doing all right. I'm not doing all right, actually. There's a lie. I'm going to take control of this one and have him just jump off. There we go. Okay, I threw one of them off. Let's fly back up. Oh, he's getting over quick. Oh, yes, he's done. Oh, I'll take this. Ah, no. He's starting to build over to the vault. Okay, we got to be careful here. Yes, we blew him up. You won't kill me that easy. Oh. I guess he will kill you that easily. It's legit only the night of 83, and they have till day 85, so I know they're gonna come back. I decided to show off a little bit by making a diamond block tower just to show I have a lot of diamonds. They should be here soon, though. We're oh, no, they are here. Actually, they're literally here. Oh, he could be dead. No, he caught it. Oh, he's done. He's done. He's done. He's done. I'm just him. I'm dead. <laughs> Where'd he go? Did he fall? Oh, he fell. He fell. He fell. Oh, I see. He put water there. That's cute. Yeah, that's not going to work when I get rid of it in a minute here. You have failed. <laughs> yes, he's done. No, come on. Okay, I see the hunters swimming in down below. All right, Zach, I have an idea. I've got TNT, see? I'm going to make a blast cannon to okay. zoom me all the way up to the top. This is the final night they have to get the banner inside my obsidian vault, and that'll let them win. And I'll give them a chance to get up here, because otherwise, uh, they're just not getting up here. I feel like he's trying to distract me. Yeah, he is. I don't know what the other one's doing below, but he's not coming. Only one of them's actually coming up. And I just keep hitting him down. I feel like it's a distraction. Oh, yeah, he's building a TNT cannon. Can I remove the water? There we go. No more water for you. He doesn't realize the water's drying up. This is gonna help me huge. Oh, he's water bucketing up the whole way again. No, you get down. You know what? You're causing me a lot of issues. I'm dead. Oh, yeah, you can't make that jump, buddy. Bye-bye. Oh, he caught the water. Dang it. Oh, you are so toast. Oh, and he fell. Uh. Is that the sun rising? It's day 85. You failed. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Them failing in their mission was pretty hilarious. And I barely had to do a thing. But this wouldn't be a fun challenge if I just sat in my base and made them keep coming to me and I kept murdering them. So we're gonna go to their base and we are going to wage war on it. I'm going to go absolutely crazy on that thing with my explosive power, with my blind ability, and of course, by flying through all their walls. Let's just Start grabbing some supplies and then we'll head on over. Okay, and we're at their base. Their base is literally inside of here and I'm just gonna make an entrance. I got some jukeboxes on me in case we need to phase out of some walls. So let's go ahead and let's take out their base. Okay, the music's going. We should be able to, we can phase through walls. Oh God, they have explosive crossbows. Yo, hold up, hold up, ready? Boom! I, oh my gosh. We blew them up, baby. Oh wait, they're still here. Wait, what? Look, I got enough totems to survive this for a while. Okay, we got one. Yes, get ready for another nuke. They actually got some crazy crossbows. What are these things? Yes, we got them. Oh, I'm on fire. I'm burning. We're low. Ooh, we're really low. Let's go over here. Oh, totem to save me. I still got 84 more though. You're blind. Oh, he's totem saved him. He's got another one. Oh my God. Here, let's just nuke that one out of the way. Get him, Elise. Get him. I can do this all day. Okay, we blew him up. Oh, they're both done. I'm blind. I can't see him. Ah, I'm dead. Oh. I still see one of them spawning. Oh my god, they have so many beds. Okay, my bed's broken. Okay, I finally won. Okay, I keep 
one spare bed on. Look at this. This place is decimated. I will keep nuke. In fact, let's keep nuking it so we can guarantee all the beds are gone. Nuke! Okay, we got him. We nuked one of them. He's gonna try and go back over here, bud. Sorry, buddy. He should be gone for good. We're out of beds. Oh, wait, wait are they both dead? I, I only had to nuke their whole base, but they're both dead. Here, I'm gonna go in there. Is Zach a widow upset? Yeah, I, I, what am I supposed to do? You just keep bombing us. Like, I can't go anywhere. Yeah, okay, mister. I can duplicate revives. I have 91 lives left. I'm done. Th this is d stupid. I'm done. I could be doing so many other better things right now. Actually, there is something you can be doing. Let me tell you. After the pillagers surrendered, I made them free all of the blue allay that they have captured, as well as turn all the red allay back into blue allay. Thanks for watching. Ah!